Hi there, and for this video, we'll be showing you a comparison of two software products, both from Atlassian, namely Jira and Confluence. Now, before we start this video, if you want to try out Jira for free, we have a link in the description down below. Now let's start. Now, first off, just to be clear, while these two project management tools have overlapping features, such as keeping track of the workflow, they are both fundamentally different products. And so this video will not be a direct comparison between the two, but more of a highlight on which would benefit your project more. So starting with Jira, this is a project workflow management tool that also has software development capabilities, along with strong integration of third-party applications. As we can see here, these are its main ready-made templates, the scrum board, Kanban for teams, bug tracking, and DevOps. Here is a list of featured integrations. Of course, they have many, many more. And that is actually one of the main highlights of any of Atlassian's products, integration. If we look over here to Confluence, it is more of a knowledge management system that allows you to connect your team's knowledge in one place. So we have pages, whiteboards, databases, and spaces. And much like with Jira, of course, it would have multiple integration features as well. Now let's look at what the boards look like within the software. This is Confluence, and here we have the different templates for our whiteboard. Here we have a sample of the database template, and here we have a page. These are what you can start to create. You can even make a smart link, and these are the basic features of Confluence. Now let's go over to Jira. There is a lot more that you can tinker with. There are two main projects that so you can start a software or a business project. This is what a scrum board would look like, timelines, backlogs, now there are forms as well. But more importantly, we also have coding, where you can integrate GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. So already, this is a major difference between the two. If we go over to our market sample, this is much more in line with what you might be seeing in Confluence. Now I understand that some may say Jira is a bit complex to use, and I think that's not entirely true. Jira isn't as complex as of other software out there in the market. This is actually a lot simpler than some of them. Confluence, on the other hand, is a lot more simplified than Jira, but it also has less flexibility on what you need to do. Of course, Jira is where we have to go if you want to facilitate the IT services. Now let's go over to pricing. We are looking at pricing for Jira, and by default, the team size would be at 300. I have set it to 500, and these are the prices that you would be seeing. And the standard and premium prices will also adjust with your team size. Of course, you will always have 10 for free and the enterprise will always be a custom price. Now let's go over to Confluence. These are the prices we have. So with the same team of 500, it is slightly cheaper. The same rules apply. Standard premium adjusts to your team size. Enterprise is custom. You are free to choose which you would prefer, but if you want more flexibility, you can use Jira. However, as these two products are not completely the same, you might be willing to try just using both of them if you have the budget and if you want to maximize work efficiency. Now, just a reminder, we have a link down below where you can try Jira for free. So feel free to try it out. Now, again, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, maybe subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thank you for watching, and see you again next time.